Knox County, uh, where you govern, you, you, which encompasses the city of Knoxville, it continues to grow as people flee blue states like New York. Uh, when it comes right. to the far left, Mayor, that puts a target on your back. And this is a challenge for other red states, uh, other areas that, that have experienced growth. How do you maintain an environment of freedom and economic prosperity as the population grow? What's your strategy? That's a great question. You can actually see this happening around the state of Tennessee now. Uh, not so much the, the people that are moving here, I believe, are refugees from far left states and communities. And, and they're just, they want to go someplace where, where, where it's America, right? Which is places like Knox County. You know, but then you look at our General Assembly and you see some elements of the far left that are just causing havoc, and of course, that's all that the media wants to concentrate on instead of many of the good things that the legislature does. Uh, so for me, it's just sticking my principles, uh, and the proof is in the pudding. Knox County is a great place to live, to work, and to raise a family, and the reason is because of conservative principles, because we believe in, in low taxes and small government. You were recently mayor of surrogate during the Iowa caucuses for President Trump. You were out there in those minus 20 degree uh, temperatures. Uh, the rematch uh, is set now. President Biden made his message very clear during the State of the Union. And then yesterday, the campaign shockingly released this divisive ad. Watch this. Again and again, I've seen the contest between competing forces in the battle for the soul of our nation. Between those who want to pull America back to the past and those who want to move America into the future. The issue facing our nation isn't how old we are, it's how old are our ideas. Hate, anger, revenge, retribution are the oldest of ideas. It appears, Mayor, Democrats are going to again lean into accusing Republicans and conservatives and Trump supporters of racism, white supremacy, and being domestic threats to the nation. Your reaction to, to that kind of rhetoric as we begin what will be the longest general election campaign in, in American political history? Well, as you pointed out, first of all, it is very divisive. It doesn't do anyone any good, but that's where we're at now. It's all about tribalism. Uh, it's also unfortunate that the president of the United States would pull clips from uh, the State of the Union address. You know, as local government officials, we're prohibited from using our office uh, in a fashion that promotes us electorally, but it doesn't seem like the, uh, the administration has a problem with doing that. Uh, that whole speech was really a stump speech. Uh, and I think that's a horrible, not only precedent, but also uh, for other elected officials, uh, you know, just uh, doing something which I would consider F when it comes to electoral politics unethical. Um, and, and as you say, it's just, it's the same old stuff. But I think people are tired of it at this point. Uh, you know, we're the party that believes that all people are created equal and that we're all granted a natural rights and doubt with our own rights by our creator, not by government. Mm -hmm. uh, and the folks on the left, they believe that everything comes from government. The problem with that is if your rights come from government, government can take them away too. Uh, and that is a Republican, as a conservative, I believe that your rights come from God. They come from your creator. And government's there to protect those. Uh, and we cannot take those away. Uh, so I think that's a, that's a very distinct difference. And that applies to all people. It, you know, no, matter, no matter who you are, you know, that applies to everyone. Uh, Mayor, you're a, a principled conservative. Uh, but despite your, uh, your persona in the ring, uh, you try very hard to strike the right tone when dealing with folks. Why has that tone, uh, or even the attempt at dialogue, do you believe, gotten so bad in this country? Uh, you know, it's funny because back when President Trump first arrived on the scene, people were like, oh my gosh, he's, you know, he, he's injecting this into politics. Uh, no, the case it was already there. Uh, and he was just smart enough to, to really recognize it and say, you know, hey, I'm going to say what's on my mind. Um, and unfortunately, I, I think it's all about big government power at this point. And I think people is incredibly worried that if Donald Trump does become president again, you know, when he got in the first time, uh, and he will tell you himself, and he surrounded himself with, with people that he thought were going to do a good job just because he'd never been in politics before. 
Um, this time that's not going to happen. I think he'll make some structural changes and do some things which really do threaten the establishment, not just the left, mm. uh, but also just the entire uh, establishment that runs our country. Uh, yeah. But you know, at the same time, you know, it's unfortunate, but the essence of politics is to talk to your group, to talk to your tribe. Uh, and definitely the, the left has figured that out. And if you want to know their, uh, if you want to know their strategy, it's pretty simple. Just read rules for radicals uh, and then right. those sort of books and right. you'll see it all right there. That's exactly what they're doing. Mayor, uh, there have been some rumors now that you're in your second term that uh, we may be seeing you on an even bigger stage. Are there any truth to those? I'm still determining what I'd like to do, uh, what's best for my family, and what's best for my community. Uh, right now, I just want to be the best mayor of Knox County that I can be, and I have to do that because if I do want to do anything else in a political career, uh, I have to point to that record and say we did a good job in Knox County. So that's my main priority. All right, and I have to ask you this, because the guys in the control room are all saying, you have to ask him this. you have any predictions for WrestleMania 40 and uh, any uh, Hall of Fame inductees for the year? Yeah, I don't know about the Hall of Fame inductees. I'm really happy to see Barry Windham and Mike Rotunda uh, be announced as the U.S. Express. Uh, I think Cody Rhodes is going to have a little bit of some game, frankly. Uh, and it should. So that would be my prediction of that it's going to be Cody's week. All right. The mayor of Knox County, Tennessee, Glenn Jacobs, thank you so much for being with us, sir.